about to give y'all a full breakdown on Bitcoin. Everything I did mention in the past is still playing out as I said it would, and I'm about to explain why. See on the monthly chart, as y'all can see the pattern, we coming out the retracement, and this how I know we're gonna get another retracement because of the fact that we can't hit a high one time, you know, that last bull run. And you see this right here? We haven't even had one of those this like yet. We just had one nice candle, then the retrace for monthlies. But I mean, look at, I mean, we haven't even actually had a run yet, technically, because we didn't break out yet. So like I always say, Mark can make his love doing things by three. So that's one hit to the high. It's just two hits to the high. When it just recently broke, it's all time high again. Like I mentioned before, but I also told y'all it would come to a retrace because of that. But we see that as playing out. And this is on the weekly chart. Not the weekly chart, the monthly, excuse me. And y'all see this pattern right here? This is the overall pattern that it's trying to accomplish. Everything goes by this pattern all time frames. Now let's go to the weekly, right? Boom, we got another pattern that's coming out the retracement. It is retracement. We got the little M right here. Up, boom, boom, down, dub. Now we're in the retracement to start to go to level two. And that obviously will actually break us out because that'll be, like I mentioned before, the third time. It's one peak, two peaks, and this will be the third time we'll definitely break through and we'll head to our next level. And we should actually get a way, way more decent moves compared to what we have been doing because we've just been going up and down, up and down. We could, we, you know what I'm saying, a few weeks at a time, a few weeks down. But I keep mentioning, like, look at all this. I mean, that's a few good weeks of just continuously going up, 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 up. Even like right here, up, 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 up. So definitely should get another one, but actually a more of a up like this compared to these. So let's hit the daily. All right, so on the daily chart, explains the retracement. Because I even mentioned this before, you can check my previous videos, especially before me, if I was afraid and scared, and it wasn't those what being what it wasn't sure what was gonna happen. So let me explain this because this is what I said the last time. Because right here, you see this wick right here on this candlestick that comes down here, right? It stops right here. Basically, you know where the support and resistance at right here. This is where it came down at. But then right here, we have your red candlestick, it reached up to here. So that means basically everything in between this area needed to be grabbed because they never recovered it. And this is why I always mention, like it's gonna come up and it's gonna retrace because it hasn't recovered it. Because I already knew, like I said, look at my previous video. This is why it came down here. Now look where this red stick at right here, right? And look to the right. That's where the wick is at on that large red candle, is it? Or is it not? It's clearly right there. That's what I told y'all before. And then not only that, you look go up here, you see what this wick, wick, wick that, right? Basically, su support and resistance. That's when they open the whole other candlestick right above it. So, I mean, in general speaking, we're going to be in this zone, but I mean, we should go any lower than what it already has been. Because this is a zone we'll be in for a while, because as you can see, there was previous support over here. So, it's still support over here now, too. So, this will be basically the, the very low. It can be, but it'll be in the same range because that this candlestick right here, this red candlestick, right? Look, it's just above this candlestick. Like all these moves is, is predetermined. They already know what they're going to do. Just like I tell y'all, this is what they're going to do. This is what they're doing. You just don't know when they're going to do it. That's the, obviously the issue here. And also the pattern, the pattern that I had for play for a while, we got the M to the dub. And you see, like I mentioned, the first retracement, boom, because of this, it broke out of here. And you, you can actually see what I was talking about by three. So that's one hit to the high, another hit to the high, a retrace, and then broke through. And then the same over here. Got one hit to the high. One high actually retraced a little bit, but continued on up. But it's the point, this high determined the levels. This is basically level one. This is level two. And then like, like level three, and this is the level three right here, right? Boom, did a peak formation, and now it's a reset. That's why we dropped down. My own set has like a nice little head and shoulders, and boom, we drop down. And then also, as you can see, we're on a 100 EMA. So, yeah, I mean, it's like everything predetermined. As soon as the 100 EMA got to where it needed to be at, right above that support level, it, that's exactly what it did. Came and tapped it. So, there's basically confirmation that, I mean, we should be on our way up soon, and it will be a quick move up because, at the very least, we'll get a, a shot back up to around 58, 60,000 like within a day 
Like that, that's probably going to happen. You know, it's not going to be a slow move because they're going to have to also get their bread because there's no point of doing it if they wasn't going to, you know, make money from it. So it's going to be a fast move, and clearly this is an extremely fast move. Fast move, fast move. You know, definitely see the inmates cross like that. It's a super fast move. So we're going to have a super fast move up. And whenever we do continue our trend up, because what could possibly, it could possibly go back down. Like I said, we could be in the zone for how long they want it to be. But I don't believe it should be too long because, you know, we always get that run right at the end of the year, beginning of the year. And that's, I'm pretty sure that's what it's setting up for right now. So we'll be definitely in the zone, but we definitely going to break out here. You know what I'm saying? The all-time highs. I showed y'all the other time frames of how to wait technically. We only tap it twice. And the next time be the third time. But like right here, like on a daily, you can see it looks, appears that we only tapped it twice. Like on a small time frame on a daily. So that's signaling that we will break through the next time. So let's hit this four hourly. Four hourly be well below the 200. And you know what I always tell you, 200 need to be well below everything. So I mean, as right now, I mean, it's probably low as going to really be in this general, like I said, in this general area. And whenever we do have we're going to get a, a quick shot up to the 200. And that'll be around, probably when it's happening, I'll say around like 50, it'll be around 53, 54. Now nah, I'm just going to go right here. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to say around $54,000. We'll get a nice shot up. Whenever it do start to make a move, we'll get a shot up, retracement. And then, you know, like I explained about these EMAs, it's going to. Slight retracement, you know, use the support, then we'll come back up here, hit this 100 because that 100 need to be below this and a 200 need to be below that. So we well, 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 you know what I'm saying, undervalued right now. And, you know, this is what they mean by buy the dip because it's around that time. So whenever they do make the move, like I said, hit that 200, boom, bounce up, use support, same for the 100, boom, and then continue its way back on up. But like I said, the next target, We'll be right here on the 58. Overall, for a nice, real clean move, you know, not clean move, but you know what I mean, like through the next week or so, we should definitely come up out this gap and we get back above this 100 EMA. So we'll be using this as support very soon, the 58, $59,000 range. But like I said, that's our next goal to spike up, go and use support, and then we'll continue our trend up. But this time we're going to actually hit the a real high and I'm talking about like you know like I already like y'all go to my previous videos you know predictions pretty right but we looking you know at like a hundred twenty thousand dollar range to be honest like we about to get the crazy killer move I know it sound wild I don't even like saying predictions like that at all you know what I mean because it just sound crazy but I mean this is what the chart shows like our next move like complete move up before we actually experience another bear market, like a real bear market, like we're gonna be up there well over a hundred thousand dollars on per Bitcoin. No doubt about that. But yeah. Anyways, I mean it's a perfect time to buy, you know, buy and hold. And wait for this next run because you know that's when we get our big run at the end and the beginning of the year. We all should know this by now, you know. Little smiles in your faces. But anyways, anything I just said is not financial advice at all. Y'all grown. Y'all make your own decisions. But like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.